The Director of Public Prosecution has new offices in Port of Spain. The National Infrastructure Development Company Limited, NIDCO, officially handed over the newly renovated offices located at Park Street to the Office of the Attorney General and Legal Affairs on Wednesday. At the handing over ceremony, A.G. Faris Al-Rawi said the retrofitting has been longing in coming. The General's office has been wanting in giving the necessary support to the DPP's office. That support to the DPP's office really falls into three categories. Firstly, it's building spaces, it's equipment. Secondly, in terms of its people who occupies the office of the DPP, in terms of funding the hiring of new staff. And three, in terms of the provision of legal fees. Commander Nidco for completing the project on time and under budget. A.G. Al-Rawi said the outfitting cost $24 million, a saving of $2 million. In adding that $2 million savings to the $5 million savings we did for the office of the chief public defender, we've already saved $7 million, and we're on track to saving significant sums, which will take us well over the $10 million mark as we outfit San Fernando DPP. Delivery of the Port of Spain office follows that of the Tobago Lowlands office and precedes the opening of the Gulf City location, which is expected sometime in September. A.G. Al-Rawi said the new offices would better accommodate the DPP's staff. To ensure that he could accommodate his staff, we had to expand his footprint. That's why we took him to massive accommodation at Lowlands, if you remember that project at, in Tobago. San Fernando is, I think, nearly quadruple the space that they have right now. And this building is equally the same. So we can therefore, we can therefore take the entire shortfall in DPP staff and fill it.